So let's say that you just picked up your Windows 2000 computer and you want to test what it can still do nowadays. Well, today we are going to see if we can visit some of the modern websites with this uh, Windows 2000 computer over here. Let's see how it goes. So if this computer over here would have run Windows XP, this task would have been much easier since you can just download the MyPal browser now. MyPal is based on Pale Moon browser, which has a similar code from Firefox. MyPal is basically more lightweight Firefox designed for older computers up to Windows XP. But now, when we have Windows 2000 over here, we have to go a little further. And the only solution we have is to get the browser called Kmillion installed on this computer. Kmillion is based on the Gecko layout engine by Mozilla, which is used also in Firefox. Well, while nowadays Kmillion supports only Windows XP and above, we can download the version 74 which is the last version made for Windows 2000. It's from 2014, which may sound pretty old, but the uh, last version of Firefox made for Windows 2000 was made in 2011, so it's definitely newer than that. All right, so the first thing, grab your USB stick. Download links are too large for Internet Explorer 5, which is installed on your Windows 2000 machine. After plugging your USB stick, we install the browser. Go to kmillionbrowser.org and select the download section in the website. Scroll down a little bit to find download archive. In there, click download portable version when you have found version 74. The normal installer is for Windows XP and above. Then download the zip file and extract it where you want. After that, copy that folder to your USB stick and unplug the stick from your main computer. Now in Windows 2000, just find your USB stick and copy the folder where you want and you are ready to go. The program itself is in folder, there is no installation wizard on this. Alright, so I jumped uh, to the Windows 2000 computer over here and uh, I think we are now ready to launch the Kmillion browser, so let's do it. And here it is, uh, the first uh, thing you will see is this uh, weird looking Kmillion uh, mascot over here. <laughs> yeah, here is the browser itself. Uh, it is looking pretty simple. There is uh, still some pretty useful features in here. Uh, such as this uh, ad blocker plus I didn't uh, install this uh, it was already installed in here in the up here you got some controls some buttons that uh, will get you to the start page and refresh the page very simple stuff and uh, in the start page you also got these uh, little buttons down here such as bookmarks and uh, uh, style changing and all that. And uh, if we look at the task manager over here, we can see that Kmillion is now using only 50 megabytes of uh, RAM, so that is a pretty good result, I have to say. In these days, one tab of Firefox in my main computer will take uh, like uh, 300 megabytes of something like that. Although I have uh, much more RAM than this, but uh, still, that is a pretty good result. So I think we are ready to see what websites uh, this uh, browser can still handle in 2021. This is uh, like seven years old, but uh, it's still newer than any other browsers for Windows 2000. So this is the best that we can get. I think we are going to start with the simple task. So we're we'll going to google.com and uh, yes, it's uh, working perfectly. Although this is the older uh, website, which is uh, designed for older browsers, but uh, yeah, it's working well and uh, no problems in there. This wasn't actually even a surprise for me because even the Internet Explorer 5 can handle Google. There we go. It's even simpler though in here than in the K million, but still uh, Internet Explorer can still handle uh, Google just uh, fine. But uh, 
if we are going to Wikipedia, then it's done already. So when we tested Wikipedia with the uh, Internet Explorer, let's see if Wikipedia works with this browser. It's working really well. Uh, the fonts are old, but that's because uh, Windows 2000 has these fonts. Then when you want to see some news, uh, let's go to Amazon, for example. Let's see if this can handle that. And yes, it can, no problems at all. Then the fourth website we're going to test with this is the, uh, Google Maps. And yes, as you can see, it can handle even Google Maps. Next up, uh, we want to download some games, although we can't because Windows 2000, but uh, uh, if we can visit that website, we're pretty close to that. So let's go to steam.com. And yes, the Steam works and it is looking really, really close to what you will see in Windows 10. This is like the coolest thing yet. Then let's try at microsoft.com. Let's see if it can handle that. Yes, it can. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting this. Basically all of the websites uh, yet have been working. Although the good thing about modern browsers is uh, you usually get some animations in this website, but now in this we are not getting those, but uh, it is 2014 browser, so there wasn't really much animations in the websites back then. And the last uh, website that we're going to visit today is YouTube. Oh my god, <laughs> can we run some videos? And no, unfortunately the videos itself doesn't work because uh, Google doesn't like our browser. I think this will conclude this video's uh, question. Is it possible to run modern websites in 2021 with Windows 2000? And the answer is yes. Thank you guys for watching this CPC video. We will see you next CPC videos. Bye bye.